right, well it's the 5th of June 2008. I am on my way, well, let's start at the beginning shall we. I did a bunch of reading on the internet, as you do. Decided I wanted to build an electric car, as you do. So I now am the proud owner of a 1991 Ford Capri. I bought it for 2,000 bucks, which is pretty good for a Capri. And I went to a meeting of the AEVA, which is the Australian Electric Vehicles Association, and met a whole bunch of like-minded propeller heads who are into EV conversions. And I'm just in the Merc now, in the dyno burner, and the gas guzzler. Just put another $100 in the petrol tank. <laughs> On my way out to Oakville, or Oakdale, or Oak Milk, or Oak something, uh, out near Windsor to see what this guy, Les, who's in the uh, Australian Electric Vehicles Association, to see what he's been doing uh, with electric conversions. He's done 45 conversions, and happily for me, as I discovered the other night, last conversion he did was, guess what? A 91 Ford Capri. So, uh, happily, I now have a real world case to look at for something I want to do, yay! And since it's going to cost about 10,000 bucks, that's a good thing. I don't want to learn the expensive way, I just want this car to rock. This is Les, electric vehicle guru, who's happily giving me a whole bunch of advice. Look at this BC. So what is this? This is a... Daewoo Lanos. Okay. Vacuum pump. Vacuum pump for the brake booster. And this is storing the extra... Uh... Vacuum. Yeah, vacuum. And it's a $2 drink container. I got two of those for camping. You need something that won't crush, and plastic would crush, right? Yeah. So it would suck it in, but the, that's just ideal. That's all you need. You don't <laughs> need to be any bigger than that. And uh, this has got the Curtis controller. That's the battery charger. That's the battery for the 12 volt. I noticed they got rid of the big lead acid and yeah. put a nice little rechargeable there. And the motor is this under here. That's an 8 inch advanced DC, isn't it? Yes, that is, yeah. And this one runs on lead acid batteries. So how many batteries you got on this? You got the 15, four. 15. And the other batteries are here. Look. Look at all that space. Yeah, it makes a big space, doesn't it? Yeah. And I can put the seat back in there. Oh yeah. And if the seat, if you're not too big a driver, you, people can actually sit in the back here. Yeah. And because they're lead acids, you've got them vented. Yeah. So you've got an inlet, which means over here. Yep, there you go. You've got an outlet, or the other way. It inlets through the base of that the um, uh, gear ship, the tunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got the inlet the underneath? Yeah, no, that comes in the, in, in the front there. Yeah. And it vents both sides outwards. And it vents automatically when the car's driving. Because of the less pressure because it's uh, facing backwards. The inertia of the wheel, the wheel's spinning and sucking the air out of the battery box. See that there? Yeah. Well, as the tyre turns, it actually draws air out of the battery box. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> First thing I bought for my electric car on the weekend at a garage sale were a couple of uh, 50 cent uh, computer fans to vent my battery box, yeah, that's which I now won't need because well, you, you, you can do that, but, but then... But you don't need them with the lithium, so that's right. Yeah, I'm yeah. using batteries that don't vent hydrogen, so... That's right. They're <laughs> handy to have around, I mean, um, we got those same things in those battery chargers, what we, we make those battery chargers. Yeah? Yeah. I think we'll be talking. Yeah. So, show me more stuff. Ooh. Look at these beasties. Mm. Who said that uh, electric car guys all had to uh, be uh, computer nerds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the box I've made out of that, um, that um, pump. I'm going to oh, okay. line it with sound deadening material so that it'll cut that noise out. But as you say, that one's not as bad, is it? No. That's a vacuum tank that you can buy off the shelf. The truck part. Yep. So that's a vacuum. real vacuum tank. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which a bit got a bit more capacity. Or you can use a two dollar drink container. Yeah, that's right. Well, here we go. That doesn't look like a, a go-go mobile to me. What are you putting in there? A uh, twelve inch? Warp eleven, yeah, but it's. 200 horsepower rate it will peak at 200 horsepower. So you're using the snorkel here instead of the air intake it's now what? 
Uh, I'm blowing the air into the motor. It'll be only used when the motor, if the motor overheats this fan, or this fan on suction, mm -hmm. suck air from the snorkel into that, and it'll blow down into the motor. Wow. But you don't need that on cars usually, it's just something that doesn't do yeah. the hard work. You know? yeah. 